Welcome to part 2, where we haven't finished talking about this game yet. As I was saying, this game is actually pretty great and fun. The graphics in this game look stupendous from a 1994 game. Animation's great. Looks like Green and Music's also perfect as well. I do remember enjoying playing this game almost a lot when I was younger. Between the Super Nintendo that has minor differences. Sure, this game, game does have some problems. When I say problems, I do mean like other words like flaws. For instance, this game is a bit short. I was hoping it would be a bit longer. Or you can try to find some hinting in bonus areas to earn more lives. And you get chased by a giant and pair of eyeballs, so you don't want to know what it is, so you have to run away from it. I love Earthworm Jim, but sadly, he, he, his franchise kind of died off when they did the Earthworm Jim 3D, which is not really a great game for the 64, or Dreamcast, or the PC. It just comes to show that some wonderful franchises, like our beloved hero, Earthworm Jim, and most likely his cartoon was a huge success. But they're off. Of no longer to be continuing on with the franchise. They were going to do an Earth for Jam for the PC, but it got cancelled. So the only time we'll see Earth for Jam is... Basically, Sonic for Hire. Or that already has eight seasons. I'm not kidding. Eight seasons. Since of our friend Jim just being Sonic's sidekick. There's not much else to say, but he's obviously there. And he's rather useful or not. But no matter. Overall, Earthworm Jim is one of the best games out there from 1994. So I give this game, and most likely, in the perfect way, great animation and wonderful characters, a 9 out of 10. Best thing about this game is most likely the animation. And I know I keep saying that. Three times. But the way that or from Jim dies when he gets bitten by that and that's the best part of the game. I'm Eli is saying thanks for watching my review of Earthworm Jim and for the Sega Genesis. The Super Nintendo does have Minor differences than the Sega Genesis. So I should the backgrounds. Most of them. But they do play basically the same. Someday I'll talk about the sequel. Or from Jim 2. That's a bit slightly better than the first one. That's also on many different consoles. So, thanks for watching, and leave more subscribers out there, more views, views, and likes. See you all in my next, next video game review.
Goodbye for now. Oh. Goodbye.